Hi, I'm Dale the Insanicate House. Go and let me know in the comments if you like button before we get started here. We're playing more Terraria on it, of course. We're on the world of chaos. We, uh, a blood moon has started rising. This time, I didn't cause it, it just kind of happened. I was looking at some stuff, getting ready to record, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, look, blood moon is rising. Oh, that's, that's lovely. I think I have found a solution to our torch. Oh, oh look, it's another occultist. Okay. I think we need to get to a safe place. I can. Jeez. Get out of my face. all that. What is this? Strong breath. I gotta look at... It's stronger than that. Let's see. Throwing lines? Oh, it's a yo-yo. That's actually super useful. Like, really super useful. I think we have uh, found ourselves a new melee. Blood Moon Aurora Monolith. Interesting. Okay. We're going to deposit everything else in here. And I'm going to look for some obsidian. Now, I don't have any potions, but we do have... 14 actual obsidian. Now, let's look at the recipe browser. So, we're looking for the obsidian skin potion. We're gonna need a bottle, a fire blossom, water leaf, and we need bottled water. Uh, I don't know if we can get these, but we should be able to get the obsidian skull. That would pretty much solve our problem. So, we need 20 obsidian for that. We have 14. Go away. <laughs> Alright. Throw our 
monies in here that we've picked up. It's, it's better to loot all first in the Anyway, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna jump down. I don't know, this might actually, the snow pylon might be the better location for this. Maybe actually, this might actually be our better bet. We can jump straight into this stuff float on down and I'm hoping what we find is so we have lava it's great that's what we need but we also need a source of water right right now I'm not seeing it on at least on the map if there's anything over here for water. It doesn't look like it. Alright. Not gonna be an easy place. There's water here, but no lava. And here we have... Oh, right there is a water source next to lava. That's kind of what we need. just straight up water. Okay. Oh, it's red because it's a blood moon. <laughs> that had me all confused. All kinds of confused. Okay. That works. Now, we just need to get... down a little bit further, maybe? Alright, now there's actual lava over here. That would do it. Hold on. Oh, that's way over there. Still, we're gonna jump to here, and then travel up and around. Okay. Oh, we can't go that way. Eh. Okay, we'll go around. We will make it around. Doesn't matter how long it takes. We'll get there. Yep, this might be our spot to get off. I believe it is. Yes. Alright, now we go. There is lava. We have a lot water source up here. So this is that. Oh, that right there is straight up obsidian. We don't even have to go that far to do anything to set up to get what we need here. I want to see what's in this chest, though. Okay. Ring unity increases damage by one, increases damage by an additional one for every nearby player that also has it equipped. Uh, menacing amethyst ring. Could be useful. Alright, let's go ahead and loot everything from there. Swallowed penny? Weird. Okay.
All right, we just have to mine our way in here. Now, I don't remember if a copper pickaxe works on obsidian or not. Don't know, but you know what does? <laughs> Bombs. Bombs away. Ow. That hurt. But look what we have. 21 obsidian. And we need to be at a furnace. And then we can get ourselves. We can get ourselves an obsidian skull right here. Guarding obsidian skull, which also gets two defense and plus 50% damage reduction. That was kind of awesome. I don't think we need this. Anything to increase our defense is going to be absolutely essential here. All right. Now. I'm going to place you in here. Everything else into the main storage. When I say everything else, I also mean these bombs. Okay. Now. Any... Literally anything I don't need needs to go away. Kind of annoying. And the reason I want to say anything is I need the extra defense of having an empty inventory. You know what? Cobwebs too. There. Now, let's go. Do this thing. We have a way. I really should get potions though. Uh. Like, are you prepared? No. There we go. Now, let's go complete this cursed torch event in a Finally, check it off of our list. I'm not even gonna kill this slime because I need it. I need my inventory to be absolutely empty. Okay, here we go. See, now we're not catching on fire, which is what was causing our problem. And look, now I can sit here and basically just tank the damage. Just like. I regenerate nearly as soon as I'm hit. I think I've been poisoned? Okay. What is happening now? We're still taking all sorts of damage. Oh, we're bleeding. Oh boy. I need to... Good. Need to stay alive. I think we've almost done it. We're stabilized. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we we survived the storm. But why didn't it work? It did not work 
I, I, I'm confused. Something just happened. Huh. I'm genuinely confused. Absolutely confused. I don't know what it is. That we've done wrong. actually kind of confused here. right now to see if there's like some reason why it just straight up didn't trigger um we're gonna try again i think we have to like leave the area and return counts as leaving the area right there. Let's see. Ow. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, we got it! The Torch God's favor. The consumable unlocks an ability toggle to the left of the in for inventory when enabled normal torches change according to your biome torch clicker 10 click damage that sounds awesome it's a clicker weapon let's see this is a the first clicker weapon i think we've got I, I didn't realize i couldn't pass through here Okay. I want to see how this works. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we got ourselves a clicker weapon. Why is it still not saying we completed it then? Alright, well, we'll just do that. We've clearly completed it. <laughs> that's... That's it. Then. That is it. That is done. We can move on. And I'm actually going to take some time to pick up a lot of these. Not all of them, but I don't need 50 million torches. I wonder if it didn't trigger because we accidentally clicked that it had been completed. So now I have to like manually enable it. If not enough in here to accidentally trigger it again. Okay. Torch God. Maybe that's what it was. We had to like. Bone Torch? 
very interesting. All right, well, we've done it. We've completed yet another quest. We'll go ahead and deposit. Is that? Oh, that's the bonus. Okay. Go ahead and deposit everything else in here. It's a really cool thing. I'm gonna keep that on hand. All right. Seems good. We can move on to our next boss next time, which will be the Desert Scourge. We're going to need to go back into the desert. And I don't know. We might actually have everything we need for this. I'm going to check. Let's see. Sand. We have plenty of sand. Uh, let's see. We, we need antlion mandibles. Uh, we have plenty of antlion mandibles. <laughs> we need storm lion mandibles. We have pl yeah, we've got literally everything we need for that next awesome. And so we'll be doing that next time. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys then. And of course, remember to turn on the lights and open the door because you can't have sanity with at least a little insanity. I will see you guys next time.